Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Mike here. Hope you're having a great day or night whenever you're watching the video. Going on a little bit of a walk here. <clears throat> Relieve some stress. And then uh, just going to keep it busy, people. Keep it busy. Grinding, listing, reselling, the whole nine yards. So let's see what we do today. Du -du 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 -du. I'm all right. Ain't nobody got to worry about me. Okay, let's dive into what I sold here today. First item was an Amazon item. It's a book here. It looks like The Seance and Other Stories by Isaac Bashavia. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's just a hardcover book with a dust jacket. This is from, looks like 1968, and ended up selling for $9.78. Next order here is an Etsy order. Miami Sound Machine, uh, Otra Vez. Got Gloria Stefan on there, the whole nine yards vinyl record. Very good condition this record's in, and it's sold for $25 shipped. All right, moving on to eBay. So this Phoenix Suns, Amari Stoudemire, Adidas jersey. Had it up there for three months. Not sure what the deal is. I mean, it's sewn. Everything's on here, man. It's pretty, pretty nice jersey. Um, I take that back. It's not Adidas. It's Reebok. Um, anyway, had it for a while. Could not get rid of it. Couldn't get any watchers on it. Couldn't get any views. So I just threw it on sale. Sold for $14.03 shipped. Out the door it goes. All right, show you guys this. This is that Patagonia men's fleece pullover with the new Belgian beer on it. Yeah, new Belgian beer. And um, had this and it ended up selling for $28 ship. Take that. Get paid two bucks for the three bucks for this at the thrift store. Love that. All right, what else we got? Uh, let's see here. Oh, here. There's a Snoopy. Just trying to blow out some of these older shirts I've had forever and uh, just, just trying to get rid of them, you know. This is a Snoopy, uh, Peanut Snoopy, so awesome it hurts, graphic t-shirt size meat, or I'm sorry, size small, sold for $7.06 with free shipping. Here's another shirt I've had forever. I've probably had this shirt for, oh my gosh, probably a good year. It's uh, Four Corners Route 66, uh, Desert Biker Motorcycle Dry Heat, kind of a cool graphic shirt. I thought it was kind of cool. Nobody wanted it. So we just lowered the price and blew it out for $5.71. We might have made a buck. <laughs> but I'm just happy it's gone. Uh, and then here I showed you guys this camera in a previous video. It was that one with the camera that I showed you guys that the woman, she's the grandma that kind of screwed me on this deal. Oh, it works perfectly fine. It's, it's in mint condition, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, the, bought a new battery for it. Put the battery in. This thing like only stays on for 10 minutes with a brand new battery. And then there's a little small flaw on the lens. Um, sold it as, as in working condition, but I described it to a T with all the notes. Hopefully the person that's buying this understands that because these people today, they don't read <laughs> or write. Um, but anyway, just uh, flipped it for $28 shipped. Took uh, less than 30 days, so. And the last item I almost forgot is a Robert Graham, just men's long sleeve dress shirt, size extra large, 17 and a half, 44. Obviously not one of the crazy flip cuff ones that bring the really good money. It sat out there for, I want to say, a couple months. And I think I had it at 35 then 30 then, you know, set down to 25 had like a sale on it, and ended up selling for $21.01. So we'll package all this stuff up and keep the hustle alive. So I always find it interesting, once I do a lot of auctions and sending listings, whether they're buy it nows or best offers or just straight up auctions, it always seems like... It just kind of generates more sales, you know, on the eBay account. It's, it's crazy how that works, isn't it? Let me know what you think down below because I, I'm telling you, there's an algorithm to this whole thing. And, you know, it's that old saying, just keep listing, right? If you're having slow sales, keep listing because uh, every time I list, stuff sells. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. All right, got some Nintendo NESs here I'm testing out, making sure they work. This one, uh, dirty as heck, missing the top piece there. Um, turns on, but the games aren't playing, so I have to rip it apart and clean the pin. But I'll have to do that another time. So uh, I'll just test the other ones here and see if we can get any winners. Double dribble, double dribble. We got one that works here, so I'll clean this up and uh, see what we can get for it. All right, back to the grind here. Just uh, working a little batch. I always like working batches, guys. And I had these little 
metal containers I just throw items in and I, I go through these in batches, right? Um, once this batch is done, I move on to make another batch, throw more stuff in it, right? That's just how I've always done it because other than that, it could be very overwhelming if you just have a pile of stuff and you're like, oh my God, I'm never gonna get this pile. So this works for me. Um, we throw all these to auction, nothing crazy here. Some CD lots, m and Kind of a busted GameCube, some controllers. I forgot what this is. Some kind of feathered thing for some, I don't know, some tool. Randy Johnson bobblehead. Got some vinyl records here. So uh, I'm going to take some photographs and get this stuff listed for auction. Minus the records. You sit up. So I'm starting to see a lot of the same questions you guys are asking me over and over and over. And um, maybe for you, a lot, of, a lot of you guys may be new subscribers. But you're asking me, hey, Mike, where do you get those poly bags at? Where do you get these, the boxes? Guys, there's a link right here. You go to my website. It's also right on the screen here, pickforprofit.com forward slash tools. It has everything that I use in my business. So um, if you're watching the video and you're like, where did you get these plastic bags? That's where, just go right there. I get a small, small, very small commission, like a penny. <laughs> 10 cents if you buy a bag of uh, poly bags it's nothing crazy but uh, you can go there and you can see exactly what I'm using for my reselling business and um, I do appreciate everybody that goes over there and clicks on that and makes a purchase through Amazon but uh, that's pretty much where I get all the supplies from there's no uh, secret to that a lot of times you could just use you know uh, just look at past videos people have asked thousands and thousands of times so uh, just want to make it and throw it in a video there you can check it out right here so I'm looking at the eBay account here with the auctions, and there's there's obviously been a boost since the auctions I threw out there Sunday, yesterday, and today. There's a lot more traffic going to the store, a lot more watchers, and um, things are selling, you know, which is a great thing. So I uh, kind of wanted to share this little bit of an experiment. I mean, it's not an experiment, but more along the lines of, uh, hey, listen, I'm, I'm trying auctions, so maybe this, if you've never tried auctions, try them. I mean, people, I mean, people are shopping on eBay. There's no doubt about it, and... Um, just depends what you have, and uh, it, it could drive more sales. That's that's the bottom line. Drive more sales, drive more profits in your pockets. Let's look at the board of progress for today. So of the 30 new auction items for that eBay account, we got to 27. We got three more to go. That should be done tomorrow. The DVD lot, uh, we got up to 79 out of the 115. The 25 LPs, 15 out of 25. Um... I listen to these LPs, so each one's like an hour, right? It's crazy. So uh, the LPs take me a little while to list. I know others have faster methods. I just prefer to sell people an honest product. I would hate to buy an LP record and it's skipping, so that's why I go and listen to it all. And the Blazers, they're still in the box. Too much listing is making me go blind, people. <laughs> you ever get that? You just you list so much and like you're just your eyes, you just got to get away from the computer, man. I hate it, you know. So tomorrow I should be able to reach a majority of these short-term goals, but I also need to go out and, and spend some money and find some, some profits, right? The, um, today is what, the 11th or 12th? I don't even know. I can't keep up. But uh, <laughs> um, I think I've only spent maybe $100 just on like eBay stuff. Amazon, I've spent some more stuff, some arbitrage stuff like that. But in terms of like thrifted stuff for eBay and Etsy... And, and even the Amazon stuff, like used stuff or new stuff, whatever it is, um, like thrift store stuff, garage sale, I haven't spent much this year. So um, I need to go out and spend some money. I'm hoping that I can, after the video is done here, and I can kick out some more of these listings. And then tomorrow I can go out in the morning, hit some garage sales, maybe hit up a couple thrift stores, and then see where we go. Because, um, you know, it's just one of those things, besides dealing with the masses of the stuff in the garage here, uh, I'm starting to come to another tune of this where it's just like, you know what, I'm so tired of looking at it. I might just donate it all, honestly. Um, I mean, there's some stuff I'll keep, but like I've got big Barbie doll houses and I got big Fisher Price stuff. Um, 
I've got some lawnmowers. I've got some crazy things that are taking up a lot of space, and they're not doing me any good just sitting here. I'm not making any money off them, so if I could just get them out the door, it might be a better option for me. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give me the like button. I super appreciate it. It encourages me to make more videos. Guys, just go out there and make it happen. Be be the best you can be. Keep listening. Keep being productive. You know, reselling is, is just a game at the end of the day. And it's up to you to master it. Till next time I'm out of here, peace.